Hello guys, welcome to another React Native development tutorial. My name is Lawson Luke. So in this video, we're creating a React Native login user interface. Now this interface will contain a username and the password, then the button. Then we've got this forward password um, text here. And then finally, we'll have this logo right um, at the top of the um, application screen. So let's dive right into it and see how it works out. Okay, so what we'll do here is to begin to modify the app.js file and begin to uh, make the changes for our login user interface. So what I'll do um, here is to get rid of some of this code. I'm going to get rid of this one as well. So here I want to have a um, class app extend um, component. See, so I'm going to have my render method. I'm going to return. So here, um, the first um, comp um, component I want to call is uh, my um, keyboard avoiding view. So what this does is that it helps um, to avoid um, views overlap with the virtual keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to use a keyboard avoiding view. Here. I'm going to call behavior and set it to pardon. Okay, so I want to give this a style. Um, oops. I'm just going to call this wrapper, which I'm going to define the styles later um, in a bit. So I'm going to have a view here. So here I want to call um, a style in two. This should be styles. Let's call this container. So here I'm going to call an image. Now I already created um, a folder. Um, called assets and within assets I have a folder called images so within this images folder I have um, this image here called code flutter png so go ahead and put yours in the folder and use it so here I'm going to call my image here. so I want to give this um, image a bit of styling here Gonna call styles to uh, just give it image. So we're gonna have source and the image source now. So we require assets um, images flame of PNG. I guess the next I want to have um, a text um, up there. And give this style. Let's call this login text. So come back. So next, I want to have um, my text input. So here, this should be texts. So I'm going to have my text input here. I'm going to give this a um, bit of styling as well too. Let's call this, this butte. And for placeholder, let's call this username. 
I have a placeholder text column. Let's give it this column. On the line color and draw items. Let's set it to transparent. I guess so basically I'm gonna copy um these here for the password. So it's actually gonna be the same thing, only that I'm gonna change it to password and say so this is a password field. I wanna wanna hide the entry, so we'll just call secure and text entry here. Yeah. I'll just set it to true. I guess so next I want to have um, a touchable um, opacity. I guess for um, the styling, yeah, I'm going to give it style equals. Let's call this BTN. Okay, um, so within here, let's have a text. Um, let's put login here. Let's give it some styling too. Okay, so now um, let's have this text to let's call this um forgot password. Let's give this a bit of styling as well. Let's call this forgot. Okay, so here what we're going to do next to um, add the styles for this um, styling that we just called. So we have constants, styles equals and style sheets, create. So the first one we called was wrapper. So let's give it a flex um, of one. And let's set some um, container. Let's give us a flex of one as well. Align items. Uh, set this to center. Justify content. Uh, let's set this to center too. Pardon left. Let's give this forty. And padding right, give it 42. And finally, just hit background color and just give this white. So we can check this before we go ahead and see what we get. Uh, we need to call it touchable opacity. Uh, I think the ones we're not using, we'll just get rid of them. So. So I'll just save and check. Okay, so um, here we have it. Um, so hopefully, so we'll just begin to um, continue with the styling. And so next, um, we want to have um, the login text in here. So we have my login text. Um, actually, I want to write color. Color, let me give this, um, and that should be red. Um, I'll give this a margin top of 20. Let's give this a font size of um, 18. Font weight. Let's call this bold. 
and the text transform and the bed. I'm gonna set it to uppercase. We can check this one and see what we get. Uh, so this is it here. Okay, so I'll proceed um, to the next one. Uh, let's style our image. I give this a width of 400. Uh, let's give this a height of 100 as well. Um, let's check this too. Um, okay. Let's, let's see the image of we um, let me see okay image I want to be sure all right so um, let's go to text input now uh, text input um, align self um, so let's make it a set it to stretch because as you can see and it's just um, tiny here so I'm just going to set it to stretch so aligned self um, stretch for border color um, I'm gonna give it this four two eight five four let's say Okay, um, I go to height. Let's give it forty-five. Um, border width. Uh, let's give it one. Um, border bottom width. Let's give it one two. Um, said. What a top um, radius uh, let's see, top left radius one so border top um, right radius let's give this one as well so, um, border bottom right radius this one and then border bottom left radius let's give this one pardon let's give this 10 Margin top, let's give this 10, I'm um, 20. Uh, let's check this and see. Uh, okay. Um, it's taking shape gradually. Okay, so I will proceed. Uh, let's give this um, button uh, start this BTN here, which is um, its touchable opacity. I'm starting. I set this align self. I set this a uh, stretch too, so that um, to fill up the screen. And for align items, uh, we're going to set this to center. I give it a party in of twenty. Um, margin top. Set it to twenty as well. Um, let's give these. I will call this border top left radius. I'm say top left radius. I'm gonna give this three. Um, border top um, right um, radius. I'm gonna give this th three as well. Um, let's call this border bottom right. Um, Bottom right radius. Let's give this three. Um, border 
bottom left radius. Let's give this three. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I think let's give it our background color. That's like C and here yeah, should be a comma. It should be blue. Okay, there you go. I want to start the text and this text within the um, touchable opacity. So what I'm going to do, um, I think I give that a star, a bit of styling. Let's see. Um, okay, I give this a text. Okay. So I'm going to do um, there is to. Um, Call the star reference, which is text. Uh, I'm going to increase the size a bit. Uh, I'm just going to set it to 18. And for color, let's give it a color of um, white. Uh, font weight, and let's make it bold. Okay, so um, let's check this and see. Alright, so it's running this forgot password. Um, let's see what we can do. I think we'll give it a style of forgot. Um, let's confirm that. Um, yeah, just a reference forgot. I guess so here I want to have um. Forgot. Um, I'm going to increase the size to uh, give it a size of 18. Um, let's give it a color. I'll just give it some nice um, red color, not to shout, saying I'm just something subtle. Um, let's give a margin top uh, 10. Like I said, hopefully that should do the trick. I won't add semicolon here. Um, I like to cause any error, but <laughs> we're coming from CSS. Um, and HTML so alright so this is it yeah. um, here so you can see we can type in here and so because of this secure entry um, it's actually hiding the password so you need to use a secure entry um, um, property for this and so as you can see makes a lot of sense so alright guys that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching um, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more exciting videos like this.